have you checked the children? Hey everyone, welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Robert Dole. And I'm Ian Fuego here. And we are back for another series of trailers. Um, this is going to be a bunch of movies, but let's uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it, you guys. We're going to start off with the non-game uh, related stuff. And um, two of them are movies that we're going to be covering, hopefully, as long as the Phoenix Film Festival still goes off without a hitch. Yeah. So the first one we're going to do is an updated sort of teaser for saint Maud. um because i know we did the last one i'm pretty sure I, we might have done it in a series of no, yeah, in a group ones, with yeah, other yeah, ones yeah. so this is the newest trailer this is the ash wednesday promo that came out it's an a24 movie but we will be seeing this as a part of the festival so here we go in three two one go okay. yay how long Ooh. have you been doing this <laughs> just over here what were you doing before I worked in that hospital. What made you leave? Yeah. A24 yeah. called. It's what God wanted. Not mm -hmm. now. Is it? Well, what's going on, Katie? Come on, you can tell me. Back then, I was so lost. Now, I am transformed. Oh, boy. Jesus. And soon. Oh, oh, that's oh right. I remember oh, this. Oh, yeah. man. physically in me. Ugh. May the Lord bless and keep you joy. I hate the hyperbole because it gets me every time. Mm -hmm. The next great horror movie, I'm like, well, now I gotta see it to see if it's actually the next great horror movie. Hey, 24. Hey, Ugh, cool. Shut up, your face. <laughs> All right, so... Do you not think this one looks any good, though? It, it looks interesting, but again, the religious aspect is not one of my favorite things. It's yeah, up there with bunker kind of horror movies where it is what it is, but they all feel very similar and... Although The Lodge was was one that I really, really, really enjoyed. Yeah. So, um, you know, but that was not focused on the religious aspect very yeah, much. It was more a subplot. Than yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. I, I'll probably watch it just because I tend to watch all the damn A24 movies nowadays. And we watched In Fabric this time last year yeah. for the same festival. Uh, so, we were ahead of the curve on that. We'll be ahead of the curve on this as well. So, yes, I'll probably end up watching it. Robert, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Um, uh, we'll see. Uh, I remember watching the the first trailer that they dropped and everything. This definitely looks a lot more intriguing than originally than the, the than the original one, one that time. I watched. <laughs> yeah, let me try that. Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, like you said, I'm not too big on like the the religious like undertones on like certain movies and everything like that. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably still actually check it out just because there are still points in this movie that kind of gross me out but intrigue me at the same time, like the whole. Uh, uh, spikes in the spikes in the shoe thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that, and like it looks like they'll have, have some nice grotesque scenes. Other than that, I don't know. Okay, I'll so I'll check it out <laughs> eventually. Fuegisimo, your thoughts? Well, believe it or not, I don't love everything A24, but I do <laughs> like their slow burn sensibilities, and I, I'm a big fan of art house horror of, of this regard and of the religious regard. Uh, I, what I don't like really about this trailer, because I was already kind of sold from the previous one. This one, I think it's a little more visceral, and it's more of a story trailer, because you kind of, you're like, oh, she probably killed somebody. She left left the church or whatever because she did something terrible in the heat of the moment or whatever. But uh, I, I don't like these trailers where they flash how great the movie is, the hyperbole, as you mentioned, because it sets expectations so freaking high, man. And the next great horror movie and everything. I was sold enough by the imagery and the quality of the performances on this trailer and how nicely shot it looks and everything. You don't need to remind that it's. I don't know, and I and I dig that scene of the floating, and it yeah. makes me wonder if there will be a supernatural. Do they, I hope they, so. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. It makes me. That's, that's what or, brings me in. Yeah. is the Exorcist of it all. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so. I can't like She's I can't not, deny that The Exorcist is one devil. of the best horror movies of all time, and it's a very religious horror movie. So it has to be done right, and this looks like it. Could and like be. that scene right there, I like <clears throat> that. Like she lights up, and then you see like the the wings sort behind of, her. Yeah, yeah. 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 
It is. It's intriguing. So yeah, it's one of the premier uh, features at IHS FF, the International International Horror Horror and Sci-Fi Film Film Festival. Yeah, it's it's not being re-screened either. It's only screening one night. Uh, I don't recall the specific night offhand, but uh, we'll be there. Whatever it is, you can see it early, provided everything continues in this crazy world. So yes. Hmm. All right. So that's Saint Maud. Let's move on to the next trailer, and this one is going to be for a movie called Scare Package. Actually. Yeah, we'll do this, and then we'll yeah. do the other festival one. So, don't know much about this one. Uh, it's a horror comedy anthology. Love so, anthology. that sounds like a great idea. It's usually, horror anthologies are not of the comedy variety. Mm-hmm. So, let's give it a go. In three, two, one, go. I like that little... You're in cold open. Second, you only have out. a few minutes for all the pieces in place. This is the best house on the market. It just seems too good to be true. What would happen in a horror movie now? Everyone I care about ends up dead. As if it wasn't bad enough that we're babysitting on Halloween. That's what they were doing back there. Tests and shit. The engine will not start in 17 out of 18 cases. Seven? Wow. It's the devil's lake impaler. Oh, that guy. It's not over. He can still come back. John dies at the end of the same. I like this, the I'm one with half seven, because they're all short. You don't, don't have to invest a terrible amount of time in any story. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Here's the comedy. <laughs> Hitchhikers is dangerous business. It's how horror movies start. It's like you're having a rough night. It's 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I am hunting a creature. Well, a man. Maybe you've seen him. How are we gonna fix this? I'd like to rent a wood chipper. Oh boy. <laughs> We're in a horror movie. Nobody. Over this. Horror. horror. Yeah, John Dyson. Horror. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what in the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See the final girl on huh? It's cool. <laughs> oh, is, is that Devin Sauer? No. No. Oh, it's the guy that looks like him from John Dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the wood chip. Uh, oh, wow. This looks okay. Yeah, this is bad. Sorry. Right. that coming. Right. Yeah. What do you mean, what's happening in the movie? Just watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that so looks pretty funny. So are they all going to be stuck in movies then? Is that or some I don't know. Final Girl style or something? I don't know. I don't know. But it looks different enough that I'm I'm on board for it. You know, yeah. I like again. I was going to say seven stories. I like that. That means that they have to be a little bit shorter, a little bit more to the point. I mean, seven stories mean you're going to be between ten and fifteen minutes per story. So it's not a terribly huge investment. If you don't like one, you're on to the next pretty quickly. And if you do, you just get a bunch of them. So, yeah, this looks good. I mean, looks like it's going to be different. There's always good, bad, and middle in horror anthologies. So we'll That's see how know. this one shakes <laughs> out. Hopefully it's it's more good than bad. But it does look entertaining. It does look entertaining to me. Robert? It definitely it grabbed me more on towards the end of the end of the trailer than it did in the beginning. I was when not when they get into the comedy. Yeah, I was not too keen in the, in the beginning of this. I'm like, oh god, this looks terrible. But <laughs> right there, I'm just like, all right, and it just goes right into it. It's like, okay, this looks hilarious and awesome, gory, brutal. Kind of was digging on some of the uh, the the effects and everything for the creatures. It was looking pretty cool. Like, I'll definitely be checking this out. Fuego. Yeah, the beginning of the trailer was schlocky and a little more low budge but not funny and then when it started taking itself yeah. a little more a little less seriously i should say that's when i was like oh okay they're kind of playing up the campiness a little bit as advertised horror comedy anthology but it looks bloody which i can definitely appreciate and some of the silliness of a few of these vignettes i mean <laughs> i mean yeah yeah this looks this looks cool and uh, as as you mentioned just to double down that is the great thing if you're not digging you know a, a segment it's usually over pretty quickly so yeah. <laughs> all right so um i think i'm gonna actually cut this trailer reaction there and we'll we'll separate the last two video game ones into their separate um trailer reactions so all right and we're cutting back in here because i forgot to do a trailer so we're gonna do one more trailer here this is for the other movie that is going to be uh, a part of the Phoenix uh, Film Festival, the International Horror and Sci-Fi Film Festival. This is called Coco di Coco da. Ah! Um, I believe it's a foreign movie, Indeed. but let's uh, <laughs> let's give it a try here. I am very interested based on the title. So oh. here we go. In three, two, one, go. Hmm. I like it. I'm already into it. Yeah. Makes me think of. They've made a maze. Why can't I make this 
Sundance movie, okay. Oh no. Det är faktiskt min semester. Jag vill kunna koppla av på min semester. Jeez. What a sad way to represent it. What the fuck? are selling me on this one. Oof. That's going to fill the weird huh. potion huh. on board for it, though. Holy, holy we will uh, uh, if it's not an actual thing, though, I'll be upset, but it does seem interesting. Um, I, I like the way that trailer was presented. Same. Again, though, I have to say the it was really the the animated bunnies and the quotes that yeah. sold me more than the actual movie itself. Um, but yeah, I'm still really intrigued by it. It's one that, by the title alone, I would never have. I, I would figure it's something like this, you know, with such an odd title. But I'm glad I got to see the trailer, so I know to make sure not to miss the movie because it does look interesting and different. So, Robert. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this movie. Hmm. Um, it like it looks interesting. I like the the shadow puppet stuff because it reminds me of uh, Limbo. If you ever mm -hmm. want to play that game, yep. like I, I do like that. It's like man, it, I, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell's going on with like <laughs> with like the the people in the woods, the the, the circus dude or whatever the hell he is. Ringleader almost. Yeah. yeah. Fuego. The creepiness of the nursery rhyme kind of thing the, yeah. the, that they were chanting. You know, first that that guy's chanting it, and then you know the actual little children singing it, cutting in and whatnot. I I do worry though if maybe describing it as that Groundhog Day meets the Babadook, if that like is a spoiler of some sort of what we're getting in the film. But I mean, none, nonetheless, I mean, it, it looks creative and creepy, and uh, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm always, as I've said on here many times, intrigued by you know, what very different areas of the world do with horror compared to what we mm -hmm. see typically here in America. So, Like, it doesn't look bad. Not at all. Yeah. And that's it, it's, it's, yeah. it's definitely, a, uh, like, a mind fuck. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, I'll definitely check this out. That's that's for 100%. Hmm. Just, damn, it's yeah. weird. It's very strange. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? Let us know in those comments down below for this one. Uh, yeah, why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below which of those three that you'd be most interested in watching. Until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird. Robert Dole. Gracias, Benjamin Fuego. And remember, stay scared.